I have been asked by some viewers about my CNC machine, which has been in the background of a number of my videos. In this video, I'll explain why it's here and how it became a part of my shop. Or maybe I should clarify a very large part of my shop. The cutting surface measures 5 feet wide by 13 feet long, and that's for a very specific purpose. The first time I ever saw a Corian kitchen countertop, I really liked it and was hooked. Corian is the brand name of the solid surface countertop material, and there are many other manufacturers who make this product today. But my interest led me to get certified to fabricate solid surface, and it was during that certification class that I saw my first CNC machine. And that was about 12 years ago. This is a full sheet of solid surface countertop material, and you might be able to guess by looking that a typical full sheet measures 30 inches wide by 12 feet long. A CNC machine that can handle a full sheet comes in very handy if you decide that building countertops is something you want to do. But building countertops is not the only thing I've used it for. In fact, from the beginning, I intended to use it for as many things as I possibly could. In the next few minutes, I'll give you an overview of how I've used this machine and then answer questions like, can you make money with a CNC? Any surprises after working with it a while? What are ways to make money with a CNC? And would I recommend other woodworkers buy a CNC machine? I am linking a video above that covers the process of building a bathroom vanity top in detail from start to finish that you might find interesting. One of the most creative uses for the CNC machine early on was on this project. This was a major remodel of a downstairs media room that the homeowners wanted to expand and add some really custom features to their home. The real focal point of the remodel is a wine cellar that can handle over 300 bottles of wine. But in the ceiling of the media room, the architect went a little wild with the fur downs and designed a ceiling that was going to be a real challenge to build. In fact, so much so that I tried to talk the homeowners out of doing it. They did not budge on the idea, and in the end, I was really glad that they didn't because it turned out so great. So once the framing was done, I was trying to come up with a way to create these real gradual and flowing curves on the sheetrock ceiling and realized the CNC machine might be helpful. So I took a laser and created a digital template of the square room at the time. The template was imported into SketchUp and a drawing created with the ceiling curves on it. Then I overlaid digital 4x8 sheets of plywood onto the drawing and transferred the curves onto the sheets. The end result was that those curves were exported to the CNC machine and the bottom and top plates for pony walls were cut on the machine. The next day, the short walls were assembled on the job site and hung from the ceiling in the media room to create the structure you see in the pictures. So something that was expected to be a huge headache was cut out in an evening, and by the following evening, we had the ceiling structure in place. All of that was due to the CNC machine. And oh yeah, I probably should mention that the countertops, particularly the round bar top, were cut on the CNC machine as well. And yes, there is a seam in that bar top. So before I answer those questions, let me show you some other examples of things I've done with the CNC. First, depending on the project, I do typically cut a little into my top and therefore have to replace it every few years as needed. In this space, I cut a bunch of dividers for nursing medication storage drawers. These dividers were custom made and helped the nurses to better organize their drawers. Repetitive cuts like this are what the machine is best at, and I was able to do this quickly and make some money while I was at it. This area shows where I cut the number 5 and 0 for the daughter of a neighbor. She had a presentation to do at school about the 1950s, and this was a prop for her. This took a little longer than you might think, and it was a freebie. This is a mahogany screen door that I built for a customer and decided to do mortise and tenon joints for the connections, and then pinned them with dowels. The door turned out nice, but it took me probably four times as long to do it with the CNC machine, than probably any other method. These days I do this kind of work with the Festool Domino Cutter, which is probably the quickest way possible. And one of the more unique projects I've ever done relied on the CNC machine a lot to cut many of the more detailed parts. The most expensive solid surface material I ever used was for this reception area for a dental office. This product, which is much like glass, cost $1,500 per sheet 
or $50 per square foot. Needless to say, I was very careful working with this. But the vast majority of my work with the CNC machine has been in building countertops and vanity tops. Granted, is still most people's choice for countertops in kitchens, however. The raised panel doors in this kitchen were all built using the CNC machine. While it does work, cutting all the door parts on the CNC machine is tedious, and I found it's really more cost effective to go with more traditional shop equipment to build raised panel doors. So can you make money with the CNC machine? Yes, absolutely. The answer to that question is, is yes. It's probably not gonna happen in the way that you might think it was going to happen or expected it to happen because once you get into the process of working with the machine, you realize that maybe you had some misconceptions about what this was all about. In my case, I, I've had my machine about 10 years now, and so I've had the opportunity to work with it a lot in a lot of different applications. I bought it originally to be able to make solid surface countertops like I'm doing here. Uh, and for that type of application, you certainly do need a CNC machine. But in addition, you also need a lot of other tools, specialized tools for doing solid surface work uh, as well. So uh, pretty substantial commitment to getting into that in addition to just the CNC machine itself. So as a general woodworker, if you're thinking that that a CNC machine is instantly going to help you be more productive and make more money. And there are some misconceptions that I had about that uh, that I'll share with you here and, and uh, give you my thoughts on. The first misconception that I had is that the CNC machine would save me time. It absolutely did not. In something like working with solid surface countertop material, uh, that Ultimately, the end product is, is better than it is by hand by using the CNC machine just because you know, the, the control that you have over the router uh, as it's running ends up just giving you a, a, good, a good product. But it does not save you uh, time in that process. There is uh, time committed to, to setting up, time committed to creating the, the tool paths to, to run. There's, there's time spent running mock uh, runs of the toolpath over the top of the surface. It, it saves you time if you're able to to create something that you can do many repetitive cuts of so that once you figure out that process for the first time that it will run flawlessly any number of times after that. In that case it does save you time. The second misconception I had was that it was going to make me a better craftsman and that's absolutely not the case either. If you don't have the skills already or are not developing the skills already by working with with hand tools, power tools. The CNC machine is not going to make you better with those kinds of things. What it's going to do is produce a part that you tell it through the computer program to cut and produce for you. But that's not going to make you better at taking those parts and uh, integrating them into projects that you have. So no, it's not gonna help you become a better craftsman. Third misconception I had, that's probably the biggest one for me, uh, was that it can, you can build anything with it. Uh, the answer to that is, yes, you really kinda can build anything with the CNC machine. Um, you pay a price for trying to do that. Reason being, the setup and the, the time and effort that it takes to, to think through what it is that you're, that you're going to, to do with it. For, for example, um, I used to build raised panel doors uh, with it for a period of time. And I, and I still find it a, an effective way to build a door. It's just, it's just time consuming. It's not, it's not a fast process because you're having to set up to make uh, not only the panel cuts for your main interior panel, uh, but all of your, uh, your joints that you're making, you know, you have to set all of that up and, uh, and build jigs and things of that type uh, in order to hold everything in place to let the CNC machine run through and make the cuts that you need. Um, I've also done mortise and tenon kinds of applications with it. Again, it, it works, but it's, a, you know, it's, a, it's quite a process that you, that you go through. And those types of things are not things that you set up a machine for and leave it set up that way. So, you know, you're breaking down your jigs and, uh, and then the next time you do it, you have to kind of reset up that kind of stuff again. So, you know, a shaper, for example, for making raised panel doors is, is really a much easier way to go, go about it. 
uh, as well than the CNC machine, though you can certainly do it with, with the CNC machine. Yes, you can build anything with it, but the price you pay uh, for it in time, uh, in effort and frustration, uh, often just doesn't really make it worthwhile. So having addressed some of the misconceptions that I had about CNC machines when I got mine, one of the main advantages that I hoped would be the case that has in actuality turned out to be the case is that uh, having access to this, this machine has saved a lot of wear and tear uh, on me physically over time. So as I have gotten older, um, I was wanting to handle material less and less and being able to throw pieces of material such as the full uh, length of a <clears throat> piece of solid surface countertop material to be able to put that on the CNC machine and just move all over the machine and cut out what I need saves a lot of manually uh, moving that material around. So it's been a real benefit for me in that regard. Same thing with, uh, with uh, three quarter inch plywood sheets, uh, MDF sheets, that kind of thing. Uh, certainly the wear and tear factor has been a real benefit for me. Okay, so how do you make money with the CNC machine? Then I'll just give you some specific suggestions that, that come to mind for me just with the experience I have in working with my own. One idea is that if you have a niche sort of a product that you have come up with that, uh, that you have a market for, that you can sell, uh, that you can set up the jigs, set up the, the programming, the G-code and all that to be able to cut that um, those materials to, to, to create those products real efficiently and effectively. With the CNC machine, you can, uh, you can make money certainly from that. I have seen people uh, in the solid surface countertop realm, just as an example, that travel the country doing craft shows and they make cutting boards uh, from uh, solid surface material. They will actually buy scrap materials from fabricators around the country as they travel and then they have a CNC machine in a trailer that they take with them and so they're manufacturing as they travel and create these uh, real unique cutting boards that they've uh, been uh, selling for I think in you know 20 years or so. A second idea on how you use the machine to make money is to be able to to, to make parts for larger products. Let's say you know furniture for, for example in my case vanities that I build one style a vanity has legs on them that I cut the legs uh, just straight out of hardwood stock on the CNC machine. So the ability to be able to cut a set of legs in just a matter of minutes uh, speeds up the process on being able to build a vanity. So it's not something that I have to uh, set up on a jigsaw or make a template for or uh, you know make you know draw designs on wood that I'm cutting out. You know I just I know I open up the computer stick a piece of material on the CNC machine and in five minutes, I have a set of legs for my, for my vanity. So in an indirect way, that, that adds to my profitability because it cuts down on the amount of time that I'm spending uh, making things uh, like that. And then a third suggestion is to, to really stop and think about what it is that you're doing with your machine or what you intend to do with it and, and come up with, with high profit margin uh, products that you can set up easily make a lot of and just specialize just in a, a, a limited number of items uh, that, that you have the the jigs and hold down clamps and all that kind of thing already set up for and that you can mass produce them in a hurry uh, that and and still have a high profit margin on those those items but the the point that i'm making with with these ideas is that uh, you you know you have to to think of it in terms of of an assembly line type of, of tool that gives you the ability to make the same things a number of times quickly and efficiently. And if you can incorporate in that into projects that you're doing, items that you're intending to sell, uh, then you have a, a much better chance of, of making uh, a, a good return for the amount of time that you're going to spend on learning to use the CNC machine and learning how to set it up uh, for the types of items that you're building uh, in order to, to make it profitable for you. So let me address the question of should you buy a CNC machine? Should you consider buying a CNC machine? I think first of all, if you have the, if you have the interest, if you have the time, if you have the money, uh, but, but mostly the, uh, the interest in, in working through the process that you'll be going through to learn how to, to use a machine like this, uh, then, then yeah, you know, go ahead. It's, it's, a, it's an interesting 
tool, uh, lots and lots of applications uh, that you can find for CNC machines. So, uh, in, in, I'm speaking primarily in the woodworking arena. Uh, yeah, you should do that if, again, if you have time, money, uh, and, and interest in doing that. That's, that's certainly one reason to go ahead and make the purchase. All right, however, if you are a woodworker that's just looking for a way to, to try to enhance your opportunity to make money as a woodworker, uh, make an income as a woodworker, I wouldn't suggest a CNC machine as a high priority for you to consider. And again, I think this is somewhat age-related uh, too. If you're a younger person, uh, invest the money in tools that help you improve your skills uh, and uh, make you be better at what you do. If you're an older guy, uh, then you know this, this is something that can certainly offset some of the uh, some of the downsides of aging uh, with uh, with the use of this tool. So if you're trying to establish and stabilize your income, I just think there are other tools that are, are much higher priority uh, for you than uh, buying a CNC machine. Uh, so tools like a, a you know a good a solid table saw, you know a shaper potentially, you know, obviously the hand tools, the routers, the sanders. Good sanding equipment is is real important, I think. A bandsaw, you know, nice quality bandsaw is certainly a, uh, a great option. Those kinds of options will make your skills better, which is really what you're ultimately after. So my suggestion for younger, younger people in particular is, is work on the skill level. Work on getting better and expanding the variety of things that you can do and the things that you can do well. Because if you're always looking to improve the quality of your work, that's where you're your money is going to come from. That, that's where the opportunity to earn money from your from your skills is going to come. So work on getting better and producing better quality uh, projects. So finally, if you're if you're good at what you do, if you have good skills, uh, in the long run, a CNC machine will actually enhance that and it will make you end up with better projects because, as I said, you'll be able to automate the mundane things and and create you know, the parts that you need to make, a, make the whole really a nice, a nice project. However, if you produce crappy stuff, you know, poor quality uh, workmanship stuff, the only thing a CNC machine is going to do is help you to make poor quality stuff faster. So that's not what the goal is. You know, the goal is to produce good stuff, and with that will come referrals, that will come opportunities to, uh, to do more jobs, better jobs, and, and ultimately better paying jobs for people.